Hi, it's Caitlin and I'm here today with a absolutely gorgeous new collection from Kathleen & Co. This will be available on the Kathleen & Co website as well as at the various stockists that carry her products. The date for the launch is April 12th at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. I will include that down in the description and I will also try to get a list of the different stockists that will be selling these polishes. This is called the In the Garden Collection. We've got like a little butterfly inspiration and then some other gardeny stuff, which is right up my alley. And it's also right up my alley because all of these polishes are beautiful. They're shimmers. And as always, they have a fantastic formula. So let's get into it. Let's start with Petunia because it's the one that I got most excited about because it's pink. This is a pink bubblegum base with glowy blue shimmer. I hate to start sounding like a broken record, but maybe you're new to my channel and you haven't seen me swatch Kathleen and Co. before. So it bears repeating that their formula is absolutely phenomenal. You can probably already see what I mean. It glides effortlessly on the nail. The shimmer payoff is fantastic and it's smoother than butter. The other thing to note is how wonderfully easy it is to apply polish with their particular brush and bottle cap handle that they use. It just makes application absolutely easy breezy beautiful. This one is a choose your own way. You could leave it in two if you have shorter nails like me or I built it up in three for anyone who's curious to see how it looks in three. It does dry down quite shiny but of course a glossy top coat just makes it look even more beautiful and I am using Cuticula Limitless Quick Dry Top Coat for all the swatches in this video. This pink honestly makes me weak in the knees. It's perfect in my opinion and the shimmer in it is such a gorgeous compliment. I just am obsessed with this polish. Next we have Rose Cappuccino and this is a pale brown Crelly loaded with glowy red shimmer. Now this one is so beautiful and sophisticated. It is a really flattering shade of polish and I love how buildable the Kathleen & Co formula is. The formula is so perfect that if you wanted to leave it in this one singular coat, it's got this rosy glow effect to the nail, but if you build it up, it builds up beautifully and easily and the color payoff definitely builds with each layer. Personally, I'd be leaving all of these in two coats, but I think people tend to like to see three coats because I do have very short nails, but I love this one in two. And if you build it up in three, you just get an even rosier effect because the shimmer builds up. And I believe Rose Cappuccino is a species of butterfly. So if you look them up, they're absolutely beautiful along with some of the other polishes in the collection. Um, Mia was telling me that she was just going to do like a butterfly collection, but then she decided to throw in some other flowery stuff. This is just such a beautiful and sophisticated shade in my opinion. I love this kind of almost taupey pink brown you get when everything comes together. And of course, the shimmer is absolutely gorgeous. It's really shifty. And the Kathleen & Co. finish with the polishes is just so gorgeous and 
glossy and glowy. Here we have a flower inspired polish. This one is Gladiator Allium and this one is a sort of grayish gray beige base with glowy purple to red shifting shimmer. I actually love Allium. They're one of my favorite flowers in the garden. Um, I've just been obsessed with them my entire life and I love that there's a polish inspired by a particular type of Allium. I don't have to look up what the Gladiator Allium is in particular, but this polish is absolutely beautiful. Again, great coverage in two, but I will show it in three. The purple shimmer in this is so beautiful, and I love how soft and pretty all of these shades are and yet the shimmer really still packs a punch. You can see on that third coat that you get full opacity. I can't fully describe it and maybe there is no way to describe it because it's magic, but the Kathleen & Co. formula has this beautiful luminous, I think luminous is the word I'm looking for. There's like this luminosity to the polishes that I just can't get enough of. I love everything about their formula and I just get really excited whenever I receive a Kathleen & Co. package because I know I'm going to love what's inside. So here it is in three coats plus top coat, and you can definitely see that grayy, beigey base and the beautiful glowy purple to red shimmer. Next up is Blue Damselfly, which is a, oh my gosh, dragonfly, my brain. And this one is described as a minty base with blue shimmer. Now this is a polish that I could get down with in just one coat. I absolutely love the effect that this gives. The formula is so beautiful and even and pretty and the shimmer in this one is really intense this has such a beautiful soft look to it and it's another one again it's buildable and I found that it gave almost complete coverage in three coats but I think it is sort of a sheerer finish that's intended with this one so if you really want opacity you could use a visible nail line blurring base or perhaps you can use a similar colored cream underneath it that's if you want full opacity but it looks incredible if you build it up on its own in three coats and this one with top coat you definitely see how the sparkle of the shimmer comes out and now you can just see how shifty this one is i i'm not tired of blue shimmer yet i really do love it and in a polish like this it just looks absolutely phenomenal Moving along, we have Blue Morpho, which is another butterfly-inspired polish. It is a pastel sky blue loaded with a glowy pink shimmer. And 
this one is so pretty. I am going to include, I'm trying to do it when I remember, to include like a collage of all of the colors in the collection at the end of my video so you can take a screenshot and refer to them and more easily see how polishes look side by side um, within a collection. But this one is definitely a different blue from what we just saw. I'm losing my throat, my voice, not my throat, thank God. Um, that would be horrible. But this one is just so pretty. Again, fantastic formula. In three coats, you're getting opacity. And this one has a surprising amount of shifts. So it is described as a pink shimmer. But there are lots of other color shifts that you will see. And I am just a big fan of this one. Again, top coat helps to bring out the shine in the shimmer and just glosses everything up to make it look so beautiful. I just love the combination of blue and pink and this one, at sort of extreme angles, you get that greeny golden shift and yeah, it's just so pretty. This looks really pretty on my hands and I really want to wear it again. So I really love this one. Next up we have Field of Lavender and this one is a pastel grape purple with a bright green shimmer. And this one is so pretty and magical, just like a field of lavender. There's actually like a lavender farm not too far from where I live. You can have like a picnic in the field, which that's just a little too whimsical for me. But um, it'd be pretty to visit, so I should look into that this summer. Anyway, this would be a perfect polish to wear for that event. And you can see just how beautifully delicate this polish is. I love the delicate balance of the base with the shimmer payoff. And, oof, this one is so pretty. This is one I would definitely keep at two for my personal preference, but you can see that with a third coat, it builds up and you're getting a deeper purple base. Again, glossy top coat just helps to bring all of the prettiest parts of the polish out to play and provides just the gorgeous, most gorgeous finish. Gorgeous-ish is not a word, but it should be. And here you can see how strong the shimmer is. It's really strong and oh yeah, I'm obsessed with this one. It's so pretty. And last but not least, we have Purple Hair Streak, which I was like, what does that have to do with anything about a garden? But it's actually a type of butterfly. It's named Purple Hair Streak, and it is so beautiful. So absolutely love that. Um, and this polish is a dusty medium plum base with a blue shimmer. That is absolutely phenomenal. Super glowy. This is like a purple overload kind of polish in the best way and I just love every little thing about this polish. I love everything about this entire collection to be honest. Um, Mia did a phenomenal job. Buy these polishes if you like them because they are beautiful, perfect formulas, everything you could want in a polish and yeah, I'm just just in love with this collection and this polish as you can see on that third coat you get full opacity but you can leave it 
to look a little sheer by doing two coats, one coat, whatever you want. The formula is beautiful and even and will cooperate with any way you use it. I'm sure if someone did nail art with these polishes, it would be quite literally the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. So if someone does that, please tag me. And here you can see how glowy this polish is. It's magical, beautiful, and oh so purple. So my most favorite out of the collection is Petunia. The minute I put this on, I was like, this is my shade of pink. And of course it has the blue shimmer and pink and blue just work beautifully together. So with the formula, with the color, this is like honestly like one of my favorite pinks now. I love it so much. The other one I love so much is Field of Lavender. The shimmer with the base color is just perfection along with the formula again. I just love this polish, it's beautiful, and I want to wear it again. Lastly, because I loved the formula so much and the shifts, is Blue Morpho. I just think it's such a pretty shade of blue. I feel like I often pick these as my favorites, but I just love that color blue with those kinds of color shifts, so definitely worth checking out. And those are my thoughts on the In the Garden collection. I'd love to hear yours in the comments below. And I also just can't wait to spend some time in the garden. We just got a dumping of snow and it is way too late in the season for that. Anyway, that's it for me. Have a great day wherever you are and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.